Hey everybody, got a really exciting video for you today. It's not often I get to um, talk about some really cool toys on the Power Platform. I mean, everything about it's pretty cool, right? But today it's kind of extra special because we're gonna kind of kick things up a notch and, and do some really, or I guess really geek out on some of this tech. So today we're talking about these little tiny stickers called NFC stickers. They're one inch round circle stickers. And behind them, it's going to be really hard to see. There's a bunch of little wiring embedded in it. Now this just has a clear plasticky like type white cover on it, but I have an Xbox sticker. I don't know if it's going to come through, but this is a, I don't know, it's a, it was a gift card that I got. But anyway, I put one of these little stickers on here and I'll peel it off. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera, but essentially there's a bunch of these little wires on the back side of it and they're like aluminum looking and there's a chip in the middle of it and it's just a regular white sticker now these come available in these type almost these plastic cards that look like a business card they're pure white and you can get them printed they also come in in actual square stickers not just round stickers but the stickers that you're going to be looking for for the chip that's on this sticker is what's called a uh an nfc 213 sticker um it refers to essentially the size of the memory, the, the number on there. So the 213s, for the use of what we're gonna be showing here is typically more than enough. Um, it's essentially a quarter of a, of a megabyte of information that you're gonna write. So most strings that you're gonna write are gonna be probably 120, 128K or under. So the two NFC 213 sticker uh, is fine. And you can search Google all day long. Now, if you need a lot of these, you know, if you just need a couple of them, you can buy them on Amazon. I think I just got a roll of 100 for like 20 bucks. Um, of course, it's gonna take a couple of weeks to get here because it's coming from China. But if you're gonna buy a bunch of these, you can get them as cheap as the NFC 213 round circle stickers. You can get them straight from China directly on Alibaba for like eight to 20 12, maybe 15 cents uh, if you buy them. Now the roll, they come in a roll and here, here's actually, I just, again, I only have a handful of them. So I don't know, I got like 20 or 25. Anyway, they come in the strip, but this, this strip is in a roll and it comes with 3000 stickers on a roll. So if you're gonna order a roll to avoid a setup charge and a machine charge, you're gonna wanna make sure you order 3,000 of them. And so it's not that much if you're talking like nine to eight, eight, nine, 10, 15 cents for 3,000 relatively small purchase, right? So uh, the unit, even though you might not need 3,000, might just be better to get it because you get a, a, a good price on them. Anyway, I've digressed big time. So here is the Microsoft Power App application documentation. I saw an article, a blog post on Microsoft's website back in June, July of this year, but then I noticed a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a week or two ago, uh, that they updated this, this article. So to save you from having to read all of this, it's very, very simple how to use this. So there's only two things that it can actually do or read. Um, and by the way, these, these are, uh, let, me, let me just talk a little bit more about the sticker and the technology. So those that aren't familiar. Um, NFC stands for Near Field Communication. These are powerless stickers that will um, store data and information in an electromagnetic sense or way. And what you do is you take a cell phone or anything with an NFC reader writer and you tap the ticket. That's why it's near field. It has to be very, very close, pretty much almost touching it, right? And so then you can scan and read the data that's stored electromagnetically on these stickers. And as a result of that, then you can get the data. And you may be saying, hey, but why can't we just use the QR code? And QR codes or QC codes or barcodes and things of that nature, you know, you can do that in Power Apps all day long. And so for those of you that's not familiar, uh, that is gonna be under your media control and under barcode scanner. And if I click that, I get the scan button and you see the barcode type. Well, if I just change this out, these are the, and I use the dot notation, you can do, you know, it can auto detect Aztec, Coda, whatever. And then all the way at the end, I think there's QR code. Yeah, so there's a QR code. So this is how you go ahead and you use that, you know, that other scanning technology, but this isn't available under there. And so it's only available as a function. You have to write the function. And so this is what I've done here. I've created a collection, I've named the collection, and then I've called the NFC reading function. Okay, again, it's not available anywhere else. You can only get it this way, and that's the reason for this video, is to show you that. 
And so what I'm doing is I'm calling uh, the function, which invokes the scan, right? The, the NFC component on the mobile device. And then I'm storing that information in a collection. And then I'm presenting the collection dot, and I'm getting the text dot text value. And here I'm getting the URI dot URI value as well. And I'm having to use the concat function because it comes back in a table format and I want the specific value of that one record in that table. I could also probably have used first and things of that nature. I haven't tried that. Um, but in any event, when I go ahead and scan all of this information, then, then it comes through. Now, before we get too far, I want to digress and talk about that in order to get this to work, Microsoft has what's called a getting started with uh, Power Apps mobile application. And this goes on iOS, it goes on Android. And to be fair, NFC reading is only available, I believe, on iOS 11 and above. And in some cases, you have to have uh, an app from the App Store to even read the stickers. But that won't matter because we're talking about Power Apps and that functionality is going to be built right into it. So as long as the phone has the ability to read an NFC sticker and you've got iOS 11, that's the only weird getcha gotcha on there as far as I understand it. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. Uh, so I wasn't able to, to test that other phone. And as a result of that, you just download this thing. Now here I'm going to share my, uh, my mobile device screen and let's go ahead and yeah let's sorry where to go yep here it is okay so this is my android screen yep it's working and i'm going to use my hands on my phone and while i'm using it here you can see the screen that i'm showing you that through the screen share so this is the the application right so i go ahead and i, I launch this let me just go ahead and back completely out of this app and then let's also go ahead and I'll try to sign out of the app so that you can see what you're going to get. So when you install the application from the Apple App Store, from the Android Google Play Store, you'll be presented with this screen to sign in. And it's a little bit kludgy when you get into it, but it's not too difficult. You just use your Microsoft Office account to log in. And I have a couple of them, so I'm going to use my personal private lab here. And once that goes through and gets authenticated, I'll be presented with a list of all of my applications in this particular environment. Now, somewhere, some way, at one point, I remember there, there was a way of changing environments. So if you do have multiple environments within your organization, you can change that. And I honestly, I off the top of my head, I don't remember where I did this. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. That's on the desktop app. <laughs> on the mobile app, it reads all applications across all environments that you have access to. Now, I'm an admin in my lab environment and on this account. So I've got access. But if you notice, I'm gonna, now I am going to use the, the mouse. See how it says default? That's the default environment. Contoso test one, that's also an environment. So if you look over here, these are the environments that I have available. And so you'll see those names show up underneath the app. So here's lab 001. There's a default, default, lab 001. So these are all of the different applications that spread out in my app and across my environments that I personally have access to. So you don't have to change environments here. Okay, so let's launch the NFC Reader app. And let me show you what this thing does. So the first, on, on this sticker, I have my URL to my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push read on the on the mobile app. And now it's ready to scan. Now I'm going to touch this sticker to the back of my phone. And it goes right down here. And there you go. You saw how close I had. I literally touched the phone to get it to read. And it captured my latitude, my longitude, my altitude, because programmatically I had to do that. And then also, as I showed you earlier, the, the quick function, the read NFC function. That's all you got to do and store it in a collection. And then I've got this information. And then I'm using the, the onSelect function so that when I touch the field, it's launching the URL from the value that I picked up from the scan. And I'm able to then go ahead and load off onto my website. And so there it is right there. So I can go ahead and I can clear all of this. And so let me show you the uh, the application in case you know you want to play. So I've, I paid for this app. It's called N uh, NFC Tools Pro. It allows me to read and write data to these stickers. So let's go ahead and uh, do something new. Let's get rid of this record. Let's add a record. And we can only pick the first two, the text 
or the URL because that's all this function in this app does. So this time let's just do a text and we'll do hello one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll click the right. Now let's write the value to the tag and it's done. I've touched that, I press okay and complete. Let me switch over to my handy dandy little power app. We'll click read and now we gotta touch the sticker one more time. And I've done that and there's the value, okay? So think about all of the really cool and creative ways that you can use this from marketing to putting a sticker on an envelope, on a business card, on something that you mail and they show up uh, now that people are coming back to the office and we can do conventions and stuff again. Use them at the booths and, and scan. Come by and let us scan your whatever to see if you've won a prize. Not only that, uh, in an ulterior motive, you can encode like a numerical number that may be their customer ID or the marketing ID that you use so that number one, not only do you see if they won with the other value that you have in here, but you can also use it to know if they showed up at the booth so you'll know what response and what turnout rate. There's all kinds of programmatically, you know, think about it. Really cool ways that you can use this. Um, you can also use this for inventory control, obviously, and because you can capture a URL, think about URIs and how you use RESTful, web sockets, web hooks. I mean, the, the sky is the limit, guys, because web hooks are even better, right? Because even though we can just put a string of text, and you can do that as well, uh, with a URI and a post parameter, you can have, or with a post URL, uh, post method, then you'll be able to add a bunch of parameters. And those parameters are like extra fields. So it doesn't matter that I can only capture just text or just capture a URI. Because programmatically, you know, we can do all kinds of really cool stuff with this. So that was pretty much everything that I wanted to show you about these stickers. I know this is kind of a short video for what I uh, have done normally in the past, but if you've got any questions about how to use these or you want more information about it or you would like to reach out to me so that I can get you in contact with the company that I work with, um, we can get you uh, to the appropriate department and then see what your, your needs are, your, your business needs, and I'd be more than happy to help spearhead that conversation initially depending on where it goes um, and I may stay with you through the long term of the project if it involves a power app um, but in any event thank you very much for your time look forward to hearing from you guys hope you enjoyed the video have a great day